Hmm. Already 42%. I do a lot of collecting off stream. Anyway, uh, let's let the music run and handle the naval campaigns. Wait for it to finish. Gibraltar. Ow, that hurt. Good thing I have the monies. Sussex to Gibraltar. Lagos. Nice monies. I would like them monies. I need more frigates. And the Topaz. Havana. Mm, Brest. Forest, Sand, the Garot, Le Havre. I don't have enough fish. Cap Francis, Havana. Okay. Well, let's do Cap Francis. Need fish and send the topaz. No, I can't. I need a, I need a frigate for this. Sending the Bowery then. Then Havana. Yeah, Havana. Two brigs, go. Another fire barrel. I have three topazes. Uh, 
Look at this mother versus the gunboat. Why does no one have any fish? Wait, did I send the fish one? Not enough resources. And the trident. And Florida. And another god. Okay, and that's fleet for now. Bank is empty. It's still a lot of monies. I can't craft anything, right? I did hunt a lot of elk. Yeah, no. Okay. Upgrade ship, maybe? Do I have tobacco? No. Uh, buy. Upgrades. Heavy shot. Appearance. Black shadow sails. Mermaid figurehead. And now I have money to spend on my own stuff. I'm currently using the katanas. The Scottish broadsword has more speed, has less damage. Sure, let's give it a whirl. I'm using the Belgian engraved. I can buy the Queen Anne. Less range, more damage. Let's try it. Worst case, I'll switch back. I find myself complaining about the range. Tell me if I'm complaining about the range. Explorer outfit. New pistols, new sword, new outfit. Hopefully you won't try to drink with the mask again. Why do you keep doing this? You can't see any difference except for maybe the figurehead. Okay, there was nothing I needed here, but my target is over there. Captain's help! Who's made sails? Sting Captain! Looks bad! Sing us a song! Yeah, it is. Short sail! Get off the squall! Never mind.
Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Well, then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! Oh, so I'm going back to where I just was. Stay out of combat and reach Monroe. Come on, climb! No, we don't get tired. Resistance is not to your best interest! Desist! I was detected. I wasn't in combat. Segawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. <laughs> Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Segawas. Well, I'll take care of him. Dog. Move! Move! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? A puckle gun? Where the hell do I get a puckle gun? Templar I'll dog! Mark my words! Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? 
Ow. <sighs> okay, so let me control the freaking camera. Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Um, the hell? The hell? What? The hell? Come on! You truly believe you can best me, Use it! We trained you well, traitor! Kisigawase! It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? Liam. Where's my target? Where's the target? The colonel was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the colonel. Done this thing before. <sighs> you took it back. Script. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. I did. I did. He didn't say don't be detected, he said stay out of combat. The Templar Bureau. George Monroe.
On August 3, 1757, Montcalm and 8,000 French soldiers and native allies lead the siege to Fort William Henry. On August 9th, Monroe negotiated for his troops to be allowed a safe passage to Fort Edward. They were allowed to keep their muskets and a single cannon, but no ammunition. But the natives did not respect the conditions of the surrender and viciously attacked the prisoners. That's the Brotherhood for you. We make rules, they break them. That's why they all have to die, see? Monroe died in Albany on November 3rd, 1757. Dear Father, I have arrived in Cuba since the loss of Grandmaster Torres. The underworld of Havana has been in the grip of the mad Scott assassin Ronald Dinsmore. Dinsmore is old but well protected. I fear there may be no right established here until her brotherhood is eradicated. I fear the West Indies may be lost to us. I will stay in Havana for a while. I will search for this precursor box to the best of my abilities. I trust my work here will, be, will erase any debt our family owes to the wretched Birch. A loyal son. Oh shit. It's Hatham. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death. Whatever the cost, I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. How many years? Picking things. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. <sighs> what? Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. Like your pin. Nice pin. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. Aren't you the IT specialist or something? But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Did you stop by my office? We need to have a talk. Meet Melanie at her office. Discovering something. That's still glitching. Wait. Is the CCO? This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. 
This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Okay. Anything lying around I can poke at? Oh, it's cold. Winter in Canada. Okay. God damn this zoom level. That's the battle. You're natural at restoring these servers now, so no more excuses. Shut up. I'm doing my thing. Whoa, wait. This wasn't supposed to be a wall here. This is not supposed to be a wall. We have transparent and we have reflect. Francois Macandal saved mm. Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale's brotherhood. Madeleine saw Baptiste's potential and instructed her Templars in New Orleans to strike a deal with him. If he could draw Agathe out of hiding and eliminate him, he would be granted a place in the Templar order. Although Baptiste was killed by the assassin Aveline de Grand Pré, his path clearly demonstrates the inherent superiority of Templar ideals over assassin terrorism. Uh huh. They somehow keep getting dead. <clears throat> That's found. The first civilization entity known as Juno re-emerged from the Grand Temple of New York in December 2012. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the external cloud. To accomplish her goals in the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first 
is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as a sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the First Civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true, that they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. I do not trust them, but for now, all I can do is have the Costa monitor their activities. Juno's <coughs> motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent Acosta fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, the fusion of humanity and machines, well, don't. Juno would become unstoppable. Thank you, the Ghost Reaper. Thank you for following. Itself, which is driving civilization in that direction. Fun. What other computers do we have? Let's check the lobby first. Smooth move, numbskull. I've got the next set of Shade's memories loaded up and ready to go. We are Hang nearly on. there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. Give me a minute to search the lobby. Yeah, those at the end. I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Use your own will. Exercise free These will. These hand-drawn animations are fantastic. We're making good progress here. This is... Level three. And of course, that door is an error until I progress enough in the story. Transparents and splitters. Is 426 on December 13, 2012. The briefing of Sigma Team's Cairo operation. The briefing conducted by Abstergo Psychiatrist Tibor Hashek, Level 7, and Director of Operations Leticia England, Level 9. State your name and rank for the record. Juhani Otto Berg. Otto Berg. 114-8506-B. Master Templar. How would you classify the result of your Cairo mission, Master Berg? I would call it a complete success. The new Sigma team performed admirably. That's going a bit far, don't you think? 
the target William Miles was apprehended and the first civilization artifact was retrieved. Both were handed off to Warren Biddick without incident. May I ask how you would rate the mission? We're pleased with the results, but not with the methods with which you achieved them. I see. May I ask why? You went off mission. You were supposed to apprehend the target at the airport, not at the museum. When the target emerged from the plane, he was posing as a tour guide for a class of high school students on a field trip. A member of Sigma team informed us you aborted the mission then and there. I will not deny this, but tell me, who talked? I cannot reveal that. <laughs> no matter, I will find out on my own. Back to business. The target was very smart, but also very sloppy. Explain. The target possessed advanced counter-surveillance techniques, but lacked the skill to implement them properly. The target was trained as an assassin since birth. I am aware. However, it has been many years since he was an active field agent. He must have been very desperate to go himself, as these days he is more of a talker, a puppet master. And what are you? A predator. Mm. A predator who defied orders because of the presence of some schoolgirls. I prefer to think of myself as one who can choose the most opportune time to strike. The last time I followed orders to the letter was in Florence. That did not end well for anyone. Was it that? Or did the students perhaps remind you of your daughter? Don't go though. I separate my work and personal life completely. Your daughter's recovery has been remarkable. I do hope her progress continues. Please, don't. I beg your pardon. I find your attempt to threaten my child vulgar and unnecessary. Explain. Abstergo's pharmaceuticals have given my child a chance at a life free from pain. And I have at last found what I believe to be my calling in life. And for that, we expect obedience. For that, you have my loyalty. The involvement of the children in Egypt compromised the original mission. Nothing more. We already have one Master Templar that we can barely control. I don't like the idea of having two loose cannons out there. With all due respect to Master Cross, while he is gifted, he is mentally disturbed. We mean no disrespect, but after losing your team in Florence, we felt a need to keep a close eye on you. I achieved all mission objectives, and achieved them without bloodshed. So my only question for you is, am I in command of Sigma Team, or not? As you said, the results were impeccable. Then I believe this meeting to be at an end. I request permission to leave. Do you have something more important to do? I am going to find out who among my team talked to you. I will not tolerate that kind of insubordination. I think we can stop here. The briefing ended at 4.34. Transcript to be sent to Alan Rickin for security clearance. The acting here is a bit flat. Okay. A refractor, transparent, splitter. And we have four beams and five targets. Okay. No, you can't move. You have to move. Given the nature of our current investigation, I have been looking at other assassins who, despite themselves, have helped the Templar cause. The first is Clay Pasmala, who infiltrated Warren Vidic's analyst project in Rome. He became the project's Subject 16. Kazmarek's rich ancestry helped Vidic to identify the Renaissance assassin Ezio Auditori as a person of interest, driven mad by overexposure to the Animus. He committed suicide. However, Kazmarek may have unexpectedly become useful again. While in the Animus, Subject 16 came into contact with the first civilization entity known as Juno. Perhaps studying his bizarre animus experiences can help us find a way to deal with the looming threat Juno promises. With Subject 16 out of the picture, Vidic needed a replacement. Desmond Miles, a runaway assassin, 
was captured in September 2012 and was used as Animus Subject 17. To oh, really? For an apple of Eden. In 2012? And uncovered an imminent threat incarnate. A solar flare similar to the one that wiped out the precursor race over 75,000 years ago. Desmond Miles also reactivated a first civilization temple in New York and used it to save the world. But it cost him his life. Abstergo recovered his body. In death, Desmond Miles became Sample 17, and his valuable genetic data was uploaded to the cloud servers in order to benefit all branches of Abstergo. Whether they live or die, we must continue to find ways to make the assassins work for us. Hmm. Is that a Nerf M24? Hello. To M.O. Boudreau from Lenny LeMay, 19th July 2013, Subject Connor. Hey, M.O. I think we should focus on George Washington rather than Connor. Washington and the Wolf has a nice thing to it. Take part in the unlikely friendship between America's most revered hero, General George Washington, and a sullen Mohawk native named Connor. A stirring tale of violence, revenge, and betrayal set during the earliest years of the American Revolution. George Washington with the franchise. I don't know that we'd get more than one feature out of Connor. Plus, don't even get me started on his wife or the way he died. What a mess. I don't know how he died. Or who was his wife? Wait, that's it? Okay, I was hoping for more. That's later. If I'm not mistaken, there's nothing more I can do over there. Yeah, that's level 3. Let's get back. That was mine. That was mine. Now, on database, secondary memories, messages, tutorials, progress. What's with all the messages that aren't doing anything? Finding the sanctuary. Battle for Havana sync successfully, all secondary missions completed. August 40%. Shit! Oh, what What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and notch it down. See if you can complete the memory this time. She's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Kill criminals with air assassinations. This is a lift, right? Um, okay, not what I wanted. Ready to open fire from here. He's in my sights. I have got a good line on him. Oh! 
Jump! 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 Sheesh! Jump on him! God damn it! God damn it! Looking controls. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Yeah, and I better keep an eye out from above. How do I get an assassination on that? Okay, let's try this again, like this. Thank you, Shay. Please wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. The ambushing you inside. Can I get ammo, please? one that's two that's three you do that it was quite fortunate i make my own look master franklin as i suspect you do yes indeed my good fellow yet without your assistance today <laughs> well you have my thanks shay 
Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? <laughs> Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. No. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Then I probably saved your life eight times. Memory unknown. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lueberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Oh, well. We'll see. Guest, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. It's a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when it's mathematical. Ow, it's shooting at the back. Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolf will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. Yeah. 
give me your cargo, then I'm selling off the ship. Loose and trim too. So, that place where I need to go. This is the North Atlantic. I haven't done anything major here. Ooh, white whale. Now walls. Let's do white whale first. More sail! All sail! What do we have here? A man of war. Let's take a man of war then. Ready, Captain! Fire! Fire! Man of war. And Mr. Birch, my informants in Port-au-Prince tell me that McCandle shares your interest in relics from the first civilization. He collects them. Well, whispers of something called the Heart of the Brotherhood. Did I already read that? The Ghost of the North, Achilles. The Assassin Council is pleased to inform you that the insertion of your ship is complete. It was made by the fine shipbuilders in Brest. We had named her the Aquila, constellation whose brightest star is named Altair. She awaits you and your crew. We wish you good fortune. Fire! Oh, that's, a, that's an ally. Why is it coming so close? I was in the middle of ship battle. He's off the way! Bring in those royals now! Yes, my first man of war. Rattling hooks away! How do I do? Head. Fine. Let's get old fashioned.
Reload. Reload. Yeah. I need to get more guns. You are going to my fleet. Yay! Okay. Get me some speed! All sail, shall take it! Let's hunt some white whale. Alas the harpoons! Alas the harpoons! Let's get started! Well, well, well! Watch out! Ice! Brace everyone! I can't see it. He don't like that. Success. Watch out! Hang on, man. You see anything? I think that's a fragment. Where is it? We're heading for the ice! It's a hit! The beast is hurt! That's how it's going! Hang on, man! Ah, yes! <sighs> Just give me another couple of shots at him. What? He's not dead? It's the white whale! Well done, Captain! How much white whale stuff do I need to, to craft? I need two narwhal tas tusks and two white whale skin. Two humpback whale, two killer whale. Actually, four white whale. Four narwhal ta tusks and three humpback whales. That's a lot of stuff to pick up. Hell, I'm taking that one too.
I'm taking this one. This one's mine. No, I don't want to stop mission. I want to board. Hope you made your peace with God. God damn it! Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shay Cormac, Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but... I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I like my Morgan. I, I believe was... I shall, Captain. I was just about to board a man of war to add to my fleet. Uh, uh, I want to board. Uh. Fine. Louisburg, June 1758. This vessel is huge. James Cook, born 1728. Born in Martin Village in Yorkshire. Second of eight children. In 1745, he moved to the fishing village of Stasis. Well, he first heard the seven son of the sea. He apprenticed in the merchant navy while studying algebra, geometry, navigation, and astronomy, which would serve him well in the future. Nobody reads anymore, you know. After rising through the ranks of the merchant navy, Cook volunteered for service in the Royal Navy to see action in the Seven Years' War. During the Seven Years' War, Cook served as the master of the HMS Pembroke. He took part in the capture of the fortress of Louisbourg, the siege of Quebec City, and the Battle of the Plains of Abraham. Fun fact, Americans refer to the war as the French and Indian War, French Canadians call it the War of the, of the Conquest, and my favorite, the Swedish call it the Pomeranian War. I would pay all the money to watch a literal Pomeranian War. Get back to work, Agent Costa. Also, it's, it's a cat person. Cook's time in Atlant the Atlantic also made him a master surveyor. He produced the first maps of the Newfoundland coast, which caught the attention of the Admiralty and Royal Society, which launched his career as an explorer. Oh, handy me, boy, so handy! Kesegawase. In 1757, Kasagawase led troops against the English in the siege of Fort William Henry. The English troops manning the fort had surrendered and negotiated terms that would allow them to retreat in the protection of the French escort. However, Kasagawase and his troops ignored the terms of surrender and attacked the English prisoners to ensure that the British soldiers would die. The violence was tolerated by Liam, who believed it helped accomplish assassinate goals. Hey, Melanie, the story would make an awesome movie. It's been done already. What? When? 1912, 1920, 1932, 1936, 1947, 1963, and 1992. We're about due for a remake, aren't we? Kessigawasa was killed by Shay and Albany. Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself. Back from Hanover. Ship's too big and too heavy. Take an interest in the war, Shay. Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. <laughs> Those are frigates, eh? Huh? Yeah, they're frigates. What do we have here? Um, they're shooting at us. Damn it! We should also let Eddie through. It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. Will prove crucial if we are to succeed. Damage report! What's the We got a hate! 
Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. Adewale. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Hang on, reboot this part. God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. We're right in their path. How fortunate we he have is to that sink we have that fire ship or get out of Great. Their way. We have to get rid of those fire ships. Said take no damage for fire ships. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Crowd on every inch of more fire ships. More fire. fire. That's got them. Hey. Give me a line. Ship that fire. Another wave of fire ships, Captain! Give me a line! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Fire! Go to the drag! Fire! Foreign Give wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Is that a man of war? Fire! That's your Keep a safe range! Fire. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! I'm trying to fire! Fire! Ship's taking damage! Fire! Go to the drag! Fire! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Fire! Fire! Go to the drag! Did I lose? <laughs> Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway.
<laughs> I didn't even do number one. <laughs> Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Hist. So was the elder Washington. And Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along, you know. If you're trying to test my conscience, guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, Shay, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, guest. Let's go hunting. Need some more white whale. There he goes! God damn it. Stay sharp, man. Off the larboard. Larboard meaning. I can't aim that far. Hang on, man! Come on! Brace! That tail's coming! He's weakening! Got him! The beast is hurt! Shoot him, Cap! The rope snap, Cap! Show me something. Got him. The iron Brace struck. everyone. Ice. Brace. Hang on, man. I'm quite everyone. Shit, 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 shit. Doing this. It's the white way. Fine catch, Captain. Okay, where are we headed? Oh, there is a fragment here. Oh, we need to go back to North America. Nah, fine. Start out. Let's get moving! Oh, yes. Oh, 
I'm gonna take a flag out. Yeah, that's a brig. Kill scouts. That's how you handle a frigate. Yeah, I'm sending that to my fleet. One, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, uh, oh, nine. I think we're done here. But into the ship? Not until I get some elite stuff. What are we doing? to River Valley. And in River Valley, I need to go there. So how about I take some forts along the way?
Sleep dart efficiency, you say. What do you be needing today, then? I don't know what you have the offer. First of all, let's buy ammunition. Heavy shot, full. Motor shot, fill. Burning oil strength, but I'm using it a lot. Like, all the rest is almost full. Here, yeah, bring it up. I should use it more. Mm, can't buy anymore. No more monies. My thanks for your trust, Captain. Keep singing. Singing in the rain. Common will cases of pneumonia among well, sailors. That's what I want. Like. What location? That location? It's not a very interesting location. I'll check it later. Give us a song. Let's take her first. Thing instead of your pistol because it's better. <laughs> I like that guy over there going.
Loose a trip too. Mm. I should probably take care of that thing too, right? The bank is full. One more, give me one more. <laughs> now we need to repair. Look what you've done. Fort is on the other side. Right. All stairs, take it. A poor old man came riding by, and we say so, and we know so. Oh, a poor old man came riding by. Oh, poor, poor old, old man. man. Says I, old man, your horse will die, and we say so. so. And we say so. God damn it.
I can't see. See if you're worth more money than repair. Little tobacco. Uh, salvaging this, I'll repair in the harbor master. Probably gonna cost less. Get the main street! They keep coming, it's like whack a mole. Yeah, but don't do it right now. Oh, that's a brig. Hmm. I thought it was a frigate. for the buckle gun. It for ourselves. I don't like that wind, sir. Yeah, me neither. But I do like this cargo. Powder reserves kill four commanders. Nice, that's 
Too close, a little too close. Ah, oh. god damn it. <laughs> You guys don't look so good. God damn you. Nothing? You're welcome. <laughs> Our blockade of the French coastline is limiting their supplies. Fine. Um, one fragment over here. 
Five out of six economic zones. And I have three forts. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. No, you idiot. Up there. Lovely. Level 57. Ah, good show, lads. We chase those criminals. Uh huh, you chased everyone. This was all you're doing. What's on your mind, Captain? Do I need ammo? Heavy shot, no. Water, yes. Not enough money, not enough metal. Black and red sails. We'll wait on that. Run bit of business, that. Bingo <laughs> solve faster, less combo. Queen Anne's pistol. That's what I'm using. And I can't buy any more. Play the outfit. Ugh. Yeah, but stick with the explorer. Give us a song, lads. Hey, ships may come and ships may go as long as the seas do roll. But a sailor lad just like his dad, he loves the flowing pole. A woman ashore, he does adore a girl who's plump and round. When your money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack John. Reef the top says the Come along, come along, you jolly brave boy.
What are we doing now? <laughs> Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Why did you throw the apple away? Apples are good for you. Get the maid sails into the wind. Or sail. All sail. Good sail. Let's catch the wind. The hell's going on over there? Safe for service. What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. Do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? This war is drawing to its close. They're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. Oh. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Brinette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name. <laughs> but, uh, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? We'll depart the fort? We'll do full hard hacks and storm that fort. Aye, we need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. Let's find a safe place to dock. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Pibbles, please! Okay, still for now on. Right, I didn't empty the bank. I did empty the bank. Didn't I empty the bank? Oh, I forgot. Dots we have. Mm. 
Is that a bear? Go make a mess, come on. Don't waste the bill. What's in here? No, just rock. Are you the only one? Right now, no bullets. Wait, there's more that I, that I missed? No, I already skinned it. Okay, apparently you can skin the same bird twice. Locate Adewale and get some boxes. Wait, is he gonna notice the body? You don't care. I guess it's hidden enough. Tell me your bullets. Fine. 
So Zack Darts it is. Ten enemies killed by another Bazak enemy. <laughs> no? Okay, people around here just don't care. Into the bush. You're the funniest. Okay. Usually more efficient. I guess that's because that's a captain or something. Go ahead, go make a mess. Come on, there's one over there. Come on. Is him? That looks like a kiss of water. Come on, you're a shooter. Shoot them. <laughs> oh my god, I caused him to glitch. He's so berserk, he's glitching. Je le vois. Je peux tirer. What are you doing? Je peux la ici. Good. That was fun, wasn't it?
Do you have bullets? Sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal shape. As we'll be swimming home tonight. A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Don't kill anyone except Adewale. God damn it. Quick boy, not very clever. 
Yeah, uh, let's redo this. <clears throat> Follow him, Shay. I will try to corner him. Back to my patrol. Let the others sort it all out. Get off of, get away from here. Go away. Halt. Yeah. What? I can't see him anymore. I have him in my sights. Damn it. Have you had enough, old man? This old man will put you in an old grave. Younger men have Let's tried and failed. He's in my sight! Oh, I see him! You will die as a traitor! Come, come! You're a quick boy, but not very clever. How's this for clever? Forgive me, Adawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, she. Perhaps I have. Come. Once I agree with the killed, with the assassinated. Oh, okay. Yeah, well. Oh, I wanted to. Hmm. One legend dies and one is reborn. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. New York, October 1759. What is our progress on the precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Hmm. 
Avoid the to find where Hope is hiding. And most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Oh, okay. Sabotage poison reserves. You have no business aloft. Down. How did he detect me? Oh, that's the fleet. Uh, I wanted the bank. You know what? Fine. Uh, manual add. We get add. Santa Maria de Belém. Squinnels and a gun boat. Volta. <clears throat>
Peric Fergus. One damaged brig. <sighs> they don't keep their ships in good shape. Ship shape. I have uh, Barbados. I don't have the fish. The Trident. I have two docks open. Sixteen to sell. To sell and sell it. And sell the other topaz. And the infidela. This is the bank, okay. This is a box. And this is an ammo. Uh. Climb the thing. Why is the down button the same as interact? Tells you right. Why is it on the ground right here? A thief in the night. Dear Achilles, do you remember your auntie Rona? You were but a wee bairn when I last saw you. We would not even let you carry a real blade, but from all accounts you are making us proud up there in the north. The reason I am writing to you after all this time is that I have gone and made a bit of a mess. 
You would think, being a master assassin in charge of Havana, that I would have neither the time nor the energy to carry on these dalliances with a stunning array of beautiful menfolk that wander through Havana. And yet I feel that I must take every opportunity to enjoy myself because Lord knows I am not getting any younger. At the very least, you might think I would know better than to get caught in bed with a Templar. Again. I'm not making you uncomfortable with all this randy bladder, am I? You always were such a serious child. Anyway, the scoundrel's name is Rafael Joaquin de Ferrer. He has fled Havana with some of the items bequeathed to me by Atabai, ancient maps of the Yucatan Peninsula and some of my correspondence with other assassins in the West Indies. Things here are tenser than the knots in the Ferrer's muscular back. The Spanish, French and British are all itching to control my lovely city. My lovely assassins desperately want to chase after the Ferrer and murder him, but I need everyone to stay in Havana to keep the people safe from another boring conflict with, between empires. I'm as busy as I have be ever been, but it all feels so terribly bland. What happened to the grand adventures that saw us racing against the Templars for a powerful artifact that time forgot? Now it is just a territorial squabble between faraway regions. Maybe that is another reason why I, left my I let myself get fooled by that sinewy devil. He made me feel young again. Being of a Spanish persuasion, if the Ferrer is not in Mexico, he will likely be in the colony close by, either Florida or perhaps even Francis, Louisiana. If you find him, be a good boy and give him a stab in the neck for me, <laughs> your old auntie, Ronald Dinsmore. Under the surface lived the water animals, loon, kingfisher, otter, muskrat, they all lived in darkness. In the sky, the great spirit sat beneath the branches of a glowing apple tree with roots that sank into the clouds. The water animals lifted their heads and looked up in wonder at the glowing woman in the sky. What will happen when she reaches the water? they asked one another. Good dog. <coughs> the heist. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big, they couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get them, Shay. We'll need their clothes. I think we're being followed! You're right. Let's move. Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! <laughs> Getting into some trouble. <clears throat> Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? Um, what happened to the camera? Well, I make this look good. 
<laughs> What's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember, you raise the flag and I'll raise hell. The hell happened to my camera? The hell happened to my camera? Oh, still weird. Why is it still weird? It's, it's still weird. Okay, loot every chest. Well, there I was, a carry lock. Yeah. I see Captain Lee. You, stop! Uh. What the hell is it? Don't have time for this. Where are all the boxes? Seriously. You think you can escape us? Don't have time for this. Alarm! Help me, damn it! Where's the other box? Can't be freaking serious. Of course, I am stuck doing all the work alone. Hell. Have time for you. Shot me. I'm out. I saw what you did over there, boy. You can't 
No, come on. Come on! What the hell am I supposed to do against that guy? Fine, let's walk it. It seems to me from the bottom. Lockpick to those? What do you mean by lockpick to those? That pile of balls look like a pile of manure. Thirty seconds to get up the pole.
to take down this fort, boy. Hey, Don't let on. them get our pay! Get them! What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. <laughs> No way back. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna start another mission right now. Still peaceful around here. No criminals, no French. But I wouldn't give good war. Just gonna grab some stuff. Do some collectibles. And it into something. Ah! Okay. Creel is downtown arms dealer who has betrayed our trust. He took payment for weapons we need, but has repeatedly refused to deliver them. I'm not exactly sure where he's hiding yet, but if you are to locate and eliminate him. Regular. That's a damn shame. I expected a fair fight. What's that anything about fail? Succeeded. I did succeed. Yes, I did. What the hell is this place?
pièce. Euh, besoin d'un peu de compète Nothing else to break. Fine. Petted five dogs. What the hell is that map? And you countering, you idiot. <sighs> you no, just taking your loot and getting away. <coughs> okay, maybe not getting away. Still getting away. Catch up 
Excuse me. Uh, there's something in your back, and I need this map. A good day's hunting. Ah, uh, good shit. I'm waiting for your instructions, sir. Rebuild. No, it's a nicer climb. Come on, you can do it. Okay, New York. I'll probably complete all the uh, alignments, collections, whatever there is, HQs, off stream, and continue with the main mission next time. Thank you for watching. Stay good. Have fun.